Hello everyone, and welcome, for the very first time on this channel, to Portal 2. Now the reason I'm here is because I want to try out a series of workshop maps, which you guys have been suggesting that I play for quite a while. The series is titled, let's just bring it up, The Office Prank, a three-part series of presumably horror maps. Now, this is an idea that's really fascinating to me, because I've talked, obviously, extensively before about how the Source Engine seems to have this creepy feeling almost sort of baked into it. It's kind of present in every single Source game, and Portal 2 exemplifies that. The reason I'm excited to try this is because if this map series can recreate that feeling, that'll be all I need. But I'm going in fairly blind, and the workshop page really isn't all that forthcoming with information, so I'm going to start talking and just try it out. This first part is somewhat ominously titled The Mannequins, and the workshop page description says that you play as an intern named Haley Peterson, who arrives one day to find that her co-workers are nowhere to be found. Now, that's really interesting to me. I love it when map descriptions lead with some mystery, some question like that, that makes you want to progress and find out what exactly is the nature of what's happening here. Uh... They're more than nowhere to be found. And you know, seeing this really has my mind racing as to what the title means, The Office Prank. Not only with how it relates to this, because obviously now the first place my mind goes is that my coworkers have maybe all hidden and done this as a joke for me. But also, don't forget, the maps also come in three parts, each with a different title, so... Not only does it make me wonder what the office prank means in the context of this level, but it makes me wonder what it means in the context of all three. And will they be different stories based around the same premise? Also, it's been a long time since I've played Portal 2, but my movement feels really slidey. That looks like something I can read. No? It said that the story would be delivered to me through interactable objects, and also to pay attention to the poster because I may notice some patterns, and it refused to elaborate on that. So I suppose there's nothing I can do but move forward and hope it explains some of this. Thank you for volunteering. Please return to your desk and await further opportunities. Yeah, like I said, it did say to look at the posters, but I don't know which of these were in Portal 2 and which are custom assets for this map. Ah, uh, press E for interaction. Uh, email from Mike Shaw titled Office Prank. We're going to be in the factory tomorrow, so I thought it would be funny to set up some mannequins around the office. Want to help? Plan on setting them up around 1 before Haley gets here. She works the night shift, so it'll be perfect. Well, okay. Tell me the whole thing right off the bat and pretty much confirm exactly what I just guessed, why don't you? Actually, that kind of sets me even more on edge, because... If it's going to tell me this right off the bat, then... Surely there's more to this than meets the eye. Hi. I know a lot of people have a phobia of mannequins. I am not among them. I think Markiplier does. But I will say I do get it. Especially when they're all posed like this, just these inanimate objects designed to mimic human life. Seemingly going about human life, but in perfect still motion, as if you've interrupted something that you weren't supposed to see, and they're waiting for you to leave. Maybe I do have a phobia. I don't like the way you're looking at me. <laughs> Aperture Science, let's work together, but... This one is a mannequin. Is that part of the prank, too? 
Or have I gotten involved with something... My new boss is a robot. Okay, maybe... Maybe that is part of Portal lore. Maybe I'm worried for nothing. Maybe I'm just rambling because I literally crawled out of bed to record this video, and I have no head for commenting right now. Wait, hang on, wait. I was too busy I was too busy being tired and commenting to realize that I just wandered down the devil's throat. Why am I coming this way? Uh, uh, I literally didn't even notice myself wandering down this shaft. This can't be part of the regular work environment, can it? Why am I coming this way? Now, I read the email saying, what did it say, we're all going to be in the factory? Okay, maybe this is the factory. I can tell that it is because it's not OSHA compliant at all. Now, I can probably jump down onto this thing... Uh, though I don't see why I'd want to do that just yet. Yeah, sorry, I am having a really hard time staying focused right now. Hello? I just heard, like, footsteps or something in the other room, or... Maybe knocking? Hang on, wait. It told me to look at this, but there's nothing on the screen. Is there something I'm supposed to press? The catwalk is repaired. That can't be part of an office prank. The catwalk is repaired. And there's an ominous chair backed up by his buddy, the ominous camera. I think the office prank is only the first part. I think I've stumbled onto something far beyond that. Hello? Ah, I do get a portal gun! Excellent! I kind of thought this was going to be a walking simulator. Oh, we are going to have so much fun with portals. It's been so long since I played one of these games, but I just remember how good it feels to launch these things and come up with solutions. Hello? There we go. You saw that, right? I need to wake myself up because I barely saw that, but it looked like a shadow drifted through the open hallway. Does anything happen if I follow it? Okay, I can't place anything there. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna take a moment to just kind of talk about what I think is happening right now. So, right off the bat, it showed me the email explaining that my coworkers are pranking me right now by leaving these mannequins scattered around the office. But that's only the first part of what I'm seeing. So, it's made it... All right, I'm going to talk about what I think is happening right now. I just realized that's a blood stain. That is a long, streaking blood stain. Okay, I'm going to talk about what I think is happening right now. So, the idea of the office prank relating to the mannequins, that's a red herring. That is something that my coworkers have done in order to scare me, yes. But it showed me the email right off the bat. So I'm supposed to know that that's a prank right off the bat. But I'm the night shift. I'm here alone. That is only there to set the mood. So that I think I've got everything figured out. And then something else entirely hits me. Possibly a real haunting of this office that's gonna affect me because I'm the only one here. Because, look, changing geometry of the world, that's not... That's not me. And that's not an office prank. I'm having a hard time commenting right now because of my tiredness and my not entirely clear head, but... I am loving this premise. And I'm loving the bait and switch in that premise. And you know what? 
It is actually... Uh, hi, don't think I don't see you over there. Between that guy over there, the mannequins littering the place, and the camera turning to follow my movements, it's not only making it feel like I'm alone here, it's making it feel like I'm being watched. And that's a really nice piece of atmosphere. Alright, I set up some of the mannequins around the area. I put one in a chair around here somewhere just in case she goes snooping around. If Mr. Johnson finds out about this, he'll kill us. Honestly, I can't wait this till this is all over. Because these mannequins are pretty creepy. And someone set one up outside my office earlier today. Totally freaked me out. Wait says someone set one up outside my office earlier today. Maybe it is the mannequins, but maybe... Okay. Maybe the haunting begins not with this place, but with the mannequins themselves. And whatever it is, it's not just affecting me. It affected... It affected my co-workers as well. Because it seems like that's what it meant. It, it seems like it's setting up the idea... ...that they've been noticing some weird things, too. Hello? Hello? No, wait, come back. Did you just go through a wall? Huh, you know, you just gave me an entirely new idea for a scare. And by gave me an idea, I mean you just did it and I'm, I'm now stealing it. That was really cool. So, you had this faint, dark figure in there, right? That I can't really see well to begin with because of the dim lighting. But also, it's shining a flashlight in my face. And so my eyes can't adjust to actually see and resolve what that is. There's so... There's a lot you can do with that premise. Wait. Was that an LOD thing, or... Were these bloody footprints being placed in front of me? Like there's some huge invisible figure walking down this corridor. I wasn't entirely sure if I saw it, but I could have sworn I saw them appearing in front of me. I'm actually... I'm actually kind of afraid for what it's gonna throw... at me. Okay, I'm awake now. Uh, uh, tired, tired librarian is over now. I'm awake. Okay, I was gonna try to send you on a portal ride, but it doesn't look like the floor is conducive to that. I can get out this way. What'll that do for me? And was I even supposed to do that, or was that an oversight? No, I can get in behind you, but what does that do for me? No. Alright, guess I'm coming back in. Ah, the vent is open now. All right, let's hop on over there. And you just stay right where you are. Okay, now that I've gotten that little jolt, hopefully my commentary will be a little bit better now. Do I have to jump around that corner, or do I have to fall down there blindly into whatever devilish evil is down there? Well, I had to fall, no devilish evil so far, but the night is still... young. Are those eyes, or...? I think they were! Because of the boxes around them, I started to think they were... the glow from, like, buttons or something, but... They disappeared as I approached, and I can't be the only one that heard that... Was that laughing?
there really was nothing there. More bloodstains on the ground. But I can probably portal in there. Before I do that, though, I'm going to check out some of these side rooms. Okay, so that's a portalable surface meant to allow me to access this back area. Now, the question is... Who has gone and barricaded this door? Is there something back here that I'm not meant to see? Actually, I've been following this blood trail the entire time, but... A blood trail from who or what? There's like a fog beyond that doorway. Oh, this map has me so fascinated to learn what's going on, and I, I attribute that in large part... No. I heard footsteps. And now I have to play that horror game game of... Is that actually going to be a thing? Because this map has been really impressing me so far with what's possible in a community map. And these walls are portable. That's a Half-Life 2 charred corpse. Uh, but to get back to what I was saying earlier, I am so fascinated to find out what's going on here, and I attribute that in large part to the plot device of the Red Herring regarding the mannequins. So, pretty much the very first scare of this map is coming out of your office cubicle and finding that all of your co-workers have been replaced with mannequins. But it clarifies pretty much immediately that that is the office prank mentioned in the title. And then it goes off the rails. But then it kind of goes back and circles back to the office prank maybe kind of being involved somehow. Oh look, I'm a little cartoon man. That's my model for this level. It, it kind of goes back to the office prank maybe being involved again. Because it mentions how... One of the co-workers ended up with one of the mannequins outside their door. Uh, Alyssa William. I don't know why you guys had to get me involved in this. You know I hate dealing with the mannequins. Also... If one of you guys have been setting up those mannequins outside my office, you can expect a formal complaint from me once I find out who's doing it. Probably you, Miles. The overturned tables and stuff is a bit overkill. I highly doubt that Haley will even get down here before she calls the cops. The fake blood you guys put all over the place is seriously overkill. <laughs> you weren't there before! Ah. Oh. See, mannequin scares are really overdone, and normally they don't get to me. I mean... What is that noise? Normally they don't get to me. I mean, back on Halloween I played Condemned Criminal Origins that has one of the most infamous mannequin levels of all time, and it didn't really scare me that much. For some reason, this is landing so much better. I, I think it's because of the way this level builds up that creeping dread as you slowly find out that this goofy, lame prank has so much more to it than at first met the eye. How am I getting up there? I think this is going to be one of those launchy type puzzles. Ah, here we go. Never mind. Another terminal. The blood trail ends here. Or maybe it begins here. It's almost like somebody was sitting at their computer and was attacked from behind and dragged out of the room and into the vent. I love this. It's this idea that these stationary objects leave implications of what they're capable of. But to look at them, you'd never know they'd You'd never know they move. You'd never know they'd be able to do something like this. It's leaving all of their activities off screen. 
There's just something about the way that's presented. That's the thing. Horror is all in the presentation. It's not about how scary the monster looks or how loud the jump scare is. It's all in the presentation and leaving things up to your imagination. And this is leaving so much up to your imagination and playing with your expectations, not only for what can happen, but for what has happened. I, I'm really digging this so far. I feel like I didn't do it justice by being so... not having my head in the game in the first part. Miles replies, We didn't put any fake blood down. And there's that cursed ellipsis at the end, implying that it's starting to dawn on him, maybe from talking to other people as well, that something's really wrong here. Is there no choice but for me to go this way? No. It's even worse. There's no choice but for me to move towards you. And no portable surface, por portable surface for me to cheat with. No. No, I can't move! I can't move! Huh. That was part one. Well, Allison, Ghost, IRL, Cat Girl. Excellent, excellent job. I'm gonna play the other two right now. I can't wait. Part two, titled Paranoia. Am I playing as someone different? Now the workshop page does confirm that I'm playing as a different character. Jerry Ryans, who is an office worker who was home with the flu the night of the prank. But I'm now coming in the weekend after. But I've been asked to stay behind during lunch to look for the missing employees. So if I'm being asked, if work is continuing as normal, and I'm being asked to look for the missing employees, then presumably the mannequins cleaned up after themselves. Well, I say the mannequins, there's strong implications that there's something bigger going on here. But let's take a look at this laptop, which will apparently be carrying the entire time in order to receive bits of story. And it's actually a pretty impressive piece of custom work. Since you're not busy right now. Hey, Jerry, I heard that you're back at work now. Hope you're not feeling sick anymore. The flu is a pain in the neck. Anyway, I just wanted to fill you in on why the office is so empty. Last week on Friday while you were out, a bunch of the people working in your area decided to prank the new girl. You know the intern, Hallie? Well, stuff didn't exactly go as planned as far as the rest of us knows. Everyone who pulled the prank is missing. We have no idea where they are. We've called their house phone and work phone and tried emailing them. I figured that since you didn't have anything to do, Maybe you could see if they're in the facility somewhere? Uh, this sounds like a job for the police. Also, it'll be great for when the repair crew comes back by your office. They'll want you out of the way for that, since we've been having some trouble with the lights and plumbing recently. Okay. You know, that whole premise kind of makes me think that... Maybe this isn't paranormal. This is just me being tinfoil hat right now, but think about it. That doesn't make sense that I'm being asked to look for missing employees? An, an entire shift goes missing Friday night. And on Monday, the guy who is homesick is being asked to look for them. That doesn't sound paranormal. That sounds like... That sounds like something malicious on the part of this workplace. But like I said, that's just my conspiracy theory for the moment. Now the workshop page says I'll be receiving a ding whenever I'm given new emails. I still haven't figured out what was up with these posters. Don't like the way the sound of that door opening echoes down the hall. The echo really emphasizes the loneliness. Now, the workshop page describes Tony as another lingering office worker. 
But does that mean that it's only the two of us in this whole empty space? Because if so, that's kind of even creepier than knowing that I'm absolutely alone. Knowing that there's someone else here, but that I just don't know where they are and can't see them. And that he's presumably trying to get me killed. And once again, I'm walking through these back areas that I should have no business going down. I should probably check my email. If you're noticing the test dummy mannequins here and there around the facility, just ignore them. We'll get around to that. Just about our entire shipment of them from Factory Sector 88B is down there now, apparently. My guess is that it was part of that prank. Actually, even better if you do find them, come to think of it. If you could maybe write down the locations of where they were so the cleanup crew can come down there later today and cart them off back to storage. I'm probably going to be down there pretty late into the night, too, just to cover some shifts and do damage control on the whole situation. Keep an eye out for your co-workers. It's going to be a long night for us both. Huh, so, is that actually going to be a mechanic? Am I supposed to be noting where the mannequins are? That doesn't look OSHA compliant. Now here's the question that I always have to ask on these maps. Which way is the progression path, and which way is the exploration path? And how much of this depends on exploration? Uh, the reason I have to crouch when I put the laptop away is because control is the, is the key to switch between it. No, I feel like I have to go back, but also that ladder clearly doesn't reach up all the way. I can't open that... Oh, I can open that door. Okay, well that's a little bit confusing because there's nothing on the back side to indicate that it's openable. I wouldn't have known if I hadn't seen this area while coming up the stairs. So can you open? No. I see very little difference between you guys. Ugh. I, I just kind of jump scared myself with that zoom in. My scroll wheel on this new mouse is very sensitive. Oh! I guess I, a lowly office worker, just carry a portal gun around with me at all times. I can't jump. But I can do that. Now, am I supposed to be launching myself into the box over there? What's the deal? So far, the only portable surface I've encountered is this wall right here. So, it's just a matter of figuring out where I need to place it. Ah! I wonder if there will be a portable surface up through that hole where the ladder was. I bet that's what I need to do. That's the ticket. There we go. I just gotta be careful that I don't end up falling right down through that hole when I go through the portal. You know, I was really digging the way that previous map played out. I mean, this is all going to be the same video, so I've already heaped my praises on. This one? You know, I heaped a lot of praise on the previous map for... The premise itself, on top of how it was presented. I mean, that was a real home run, home run in my eyes. No! I see that I haven't been desensitized to that type of scare. Now, it's kind of strange. The area that was almost considered the safe area, that starting area of the previous map, now, because of the way it's been framed, is like the belly of the beast for this character. But of course, we just came from the factory. Or at least I believe that's the case. So it's almost like... It's almost like the mannequins have all switched places. Now that's telling, isn't it? 
That's telling in an almost SCP kind of way how the turrets seem to consider the mannequin to be a targetable entity. Oh, but this does imply that turrets are going to be a danger for me. And especially once I portal over to there. I can place one there. And it looks like that door is going to be openable. I'm just going to have to wait until the turret is on its way past to come through and open that door. Alright, three, two, one, hike. Wait for you to move. You'll shut down, I can come through here and open the door. And I've just received another email. Okay, maybe I lied. I don't like hearing the word lied from somebody who's sending me into this area. Maybe I lied about covering some shifts. I was actually filing papers. I probably should have been covering shifts though because nobody in my office is here either. I don't actually know if anyone but us is here. I saw tons of people leaving after lunch, but I thought maybe it was a meeting or a company party I wasn't invited to. I can't find any sign of people anywhere, except open doors, which I'm assuming is your doing. I still don't know how you'd get all the way to my part of the facility so quickly. I haven't. Anyway, I'm just finished up here. I'm coming down to find you. I'll mind the doors. I'm just following the open ones since I can assume that's where you went. If you keep going further, remember to keep the doors open so I can find you. If we can find the missing people, more power to us. Maybe even a bonus once everyone is back. I'll send you another email in a bit. I'm gonna go searching. This is the kind of storytelling that I so adore in horror, and it's so cool to see it coming from a community map like this. It's all this horror through implications. Not so much what we see, but what we don't see, and our interpretations of what we don't see. So it seems like this guy is not trying to get me killed, but is as much a victim as I am. And let's take a note of what he said, because I'm not abandoning my evil corporate conspiracy just yet. So he said that he saw a bunch of people leave, but that it seems that we're the only people in the building now, so whatever it was they were leaving for, we're not in on it. I've not abandoned my corporate conspiracy just yet. But also, remember I talked before about how, about how it's that horror of feeling the evidence of someone else here, but of not being able to see them. Of course, at first I was talking about Tony. But it seems like he's going through a similar experience. Oh, to be able to reply to these emails. And we can shoot a portal up through there. I almost didn't notice before. Now what's up here that I can... Oh, I can see through this upper floor here. Oh, I'll need to find a portalable surface. And there it is. And now we can move on. Now I'm thinking with portals. Remember when that was a meme? Actually, I remember when everything about portal was a meme. Actually, come to think of it, the story of this map is actually... It's hitting some of the same beats as the original portal. Because in that game, it was this quirky little puzzle map, and it presented itself in that way for quite a long while. It wasn't until the end that we started to see that sci-fi horror story. And I wonder if this is going to go in the same direction. Not liking this red X on the floor. Wait. Wait. What is all this? What do these arrows and X's mean? That doesn't seem good for me. Okay, there's definitely going to be something about that. Can I break through this? No. And there's no portable surfaces inside either, so what do I do? Am I going to need something to break these down with, or... Perhaps I can... Hmm. 
Well, I can't really get out of here. It's kind of annoying that Crouch is bound to the same key as bringing out the laptop. But what do I do? Presumably, whatever I have to do has something to do with those turrets, right? Wait, that's not- Okay, how did I not notice this? When did that happen? That's not a mannequin anymore. That's not a mannequin, it's an actual corpse now. How did I not notice that? I feel like I need to do something involving that turret to get it to maybe shoot out that vent so I can crawl through. Oh, I could just crawl right through? Come on, that was not at all obvious. That is so annoying. I was standing here looking for a solution to this puzzle that doesn't exist. Can't get through there. It's really eerie still being able to hear the turret shooting as I'm crawling through these passageways. Do not trust her. Uh, I imagine that might be in reference to GLaDOS through the Portal 2. See, that's the thing is, I, I never know what's a texture that's part of the map, like part of the original Portal 2 assets. I've just been paranoid ever since the first workshop page told me to pay attention to the posters. That is not a valid image for my brain to process. Hi. Where are you? I did not like pulling up that screen and hearing that noise. And oh, it is so dark in this hallway. And all of them so far have looked malicious, but that one... That one seems to have a creepy kind of grin, doesn't it? Alright, let's read this email. Where are you? Jerry, I don't know where you are. I've been following the open doors down and down, but it's leading me nowhere except down random hallways and through the factory. At this point, I don't even know if you're on the path I'm following because I can't find any sign of you here. Hold on, I need to check something. I think I just saw something moving. I'll get back to you in a sec. I just got jump scared by something that I knew was there. I just... That was a scare of my own design. Ooh. Oh, but I just realized the laptop actually projects a light forward. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I'll take what I can get. I don't like how it's gone completely silent. I recognize this place. This should lead back to the offices where the employees went missing. I'm gonna go ahead and close that door behind me. Actually, it's quite concerning because I don't think I could close the doors before. Why could I close that door, game? Ah, uh, every little thing has me so paranoid now. It's gotten me into this place where I really don't know what to expect from this map. You know, it's actually really concerning if this guy hasn't been loitering for longer than 20 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna let you have your own area. This is a pose that I really do not like. This pose that looks like it's in mid-step. As if it were walking towards me, but that it can't do so when I'm observing it. Of course, that's quite ominous, coupled with the poster in the background saying, Robots never sleep. That chilled me to the bone. I didn't see if that was a mannequin or something else entirely, but the way it was just completely... Dark and skinny, almost skeletal looking. 
and the way it just glided through, totally unmoving, and it... That sounded like it came from behind me, but it's hard to tell. I see you! I see you at the end of that hallway! No, I don't see you. You're gone now! Uh, I can't jump, though. I'll have to portal through. No, I won't. I can't jump, so... Hang on, I can't jump. How do I... How do I get around this? I can't portal the ceiling. This looks like it should be really easy to get through, but I can't. So what am I meant to be doing then? Uh, maybe I can portal through there. There we go. You know, that seems like an unnecessary use of portals, but... Well, let's be real. I'm never going to complain about getting to use portals. Don't like that one bit. Don't like that one bit, but that is a very clever bit of map design. It's created it so... I see you there. I see you. Uh, okay, this hallway is just a great, great series of examples on making... On how to make things work and how to make player perspective work. So, hang on, wait. I'm, I'm gonna... That's a bloody handprint. I'm gonna go back and talk about this for a minute. Well, I can't go back through the portal, sadly. Now I can. So what it's done here is it's set up the expectation there is a mannequin in the dark down this hallway watching me. But it vanishes before my very eyes. I have to place a portal through there in order to get through this obstruction. And in order to do that, I have to come back and place a portal right here. Meaning I have to walk all the way back down. Meaning that they can cause this door to slam when I'm guaranteed to be right next to it. But then, if I'm to turn around, if I turn around in this moment, which I'm liable to do when the door slams in my face, I'll see that that mannequin, which had, init which had initially disappeared from my sight, is now back down its original hallway, but closer. Closer to me and past the obstruction. And to top it all off, I now have to go through the portal I just made, which will take me closer to it. Excellent map design, and an excellent way to anticipate what the player will be doing and feeling in a given moment, which is very important for designing horror maps. I'm on to your game. And you know, I could be crazy, it could just be me. But I feel like there's slightly different facial expressions among the different mannequins. I see you over there. You're standing in a pool of blood. You did something. The way you come in and he's standing in that corner, just facing you, it almost looks like... You caught him at the very last stage of cleaning up some act. Stop. Close the door. Why won't you let me close this door? Thank you. I swear I saw one of the firing target mannequins walking through a hallway. I think either I'm going insane, or something's going on here that I can't explain. I know the prank involved putting mannequins everywhere to freak people out going into the factory area, but I have no idea why the mannequins would even be over here in the facility, let alone why they'd be walking. Unless the, pr the pranksters got the engineers in 88B to let them use the androids' cores. Are we approaching an explanation? I don't even know we had a way to make test dummies walk. I'm trying to keep my mind off horror cliches and irrational fears, but... I'm going to be honest and say that my heart is beating probably twice as fast as it should be, and I'm really freaked out. I'm going to investigate further, and once we can meet up, 
Let's get out of here. Those weren't there before. Or at least... I don't think they were. And now I'm starting to doubt myself. Alright, laptop back out. I'm gonna need your light. This is a hallway where something is going to happen. It has to be. It's too narrow, too forced, and too dark. Something is going to happen here. You know what? It said that maybe I'd notice some patterns. Maybe I'm not supposed to... Maybe I'm not supposed to be taking away that there's going to be something different about the posters. Maybe it is the posters themselves. This guy, Tony, he was speculating that... Maybe it would have something to do with putting android cores inside the mannequins. This bloodstained poster says... Robots never sleep. Maybe what we're dealing with isn't paranormal. What was that? Maybe what we're dealing with isn't paranormal. Or a corporate conspiracy. Maybe it actually is just the mannequins acting on their own. No portable surfaces, so how do I get through? I can't. Why would this hallway even exist? Unless... Oh, no. Oh, no. It's doing it. It's doing that thing where it's going to make me walk back. It's making me walk back. Just do it to me. No? Well, what then? The blood trail ends at this door. Maybe that's some kind of clue? There must be some portable surface beyond here, right? Ah, that is portable. Okay. Okie doke. I got myself all worked up for nothing. Hi. That looks like a door that's been bricked up. Okay. Uh, that jump scared me a little bit, but to be honest, that was kind of an unsubtle scare. Maybe I can portal something up there. I'll keep in mind that this is up here. Right there? Yeah, there we go. Why is that so unnerving to me? I know the whole point of this channel is that I'm supposed to play these maps with kind of a critical lens and explain exactly why everything works or does not work. I don't know why this is so scary to me. I'm going to have to think about that. Can I open this door? I can. Ooh, a cube. I can carry that. These are probably going to be... I'm probably going to have to stack these, right? I think we all feel that way one time or another. Only not... Wait. This thing like seeing... Only n This thing like seeing... Only not with my eyes. I really do not want to know what that's describing. Who am I kidding? Yes, I do. Ah, uh, there we go. Yep, we gotta place the cubes on the buttons. Standard portal fare. Of course, that means I'm gonna have to traverse this hallway several times. During which I don't 
expect you to stay in your place. Also, I don't know if this is a custom texture or if they were like this in Portal 2. But I love that grimy look to these cubes. You know, given the grimy look of the cubes in really every asset here... You know, it made sense in Portal 2 because the facility really had been abandoned for... God only knows how long. But here, in the context of this map, these textures make it feel like this is some like, long-forgotten part of an otherwise active facility. Like, something that nobody who works here today even knew about. I don't like these arrows in the ground. They make it feel like I'm being led. You're gonna make me, aren't you? You're gonna make me. You're too late. You sent the email! Oh my- Oh, that is such a good ending! That is such a good ending! Oh, I had- Adore that! Just coming upon the mannequin, coming upon the mannequin, looking at the computer, and receiving an email, and having it slowly dawn on me that the mannequin sent the email. Ah, oh, these maps are something else. I love them so much. Thank you so much, you guys, for suggesting this to me. Uh, but I'm not done yet. There's still one more to check out. Part 3. Nightmare. This map contains jump scares as well as heavy subjects that may be triggers for some people. If you're sensitive to depressing topics or flashing visuals, play at your own discretion. Well, that's quite a thing to drop on me three parts in. I'm committed now. Miles Shaw, that's the guy. Hey Ted, I just had the greatest idea for an awesome for an awesome prank. We're going back to the beginning. I just had the greatest idea for an awesome prank. You know how we just got all those defective mannequins sent back from Factory Sector 88B? I have the perfect use for them. And you're gonna help me with it. Before I finish telling you, though, you should head on over to the factory. Make sure you go to the right one, though. I'm having Maxwell take care of the factories and offices over the main- over- wait over past the meeting room with the projector and down the flight of stairs. So don't go messing with his mannequin supply, okay? Anyways, once you've gotten down to 88B, then log in on one of the nearby computers and I'll have another email sent explaining what to do. So we're going back to the beginning, to the planning phase of this prank. And I think this is probably going to be the reveal of what's been going on here. Now, once again, we have two different ways we can go. This is an awful lot of exploration that it's letting me do. Wait a minute, I'm gonna go check out that email again because... Am I maybe making a choice here? I feel a little bit overwhelmed. Like, there's a lot of places I can go right now. Does this all loop back in on itself? Can't open that door. Wow, there's so much to explore right now. Now, it said that I was supposed to be heading down to the factory, but... Oh, this is so huge. Wait. Wait, this is... this is the starting area from the first map! This is that very first area! It's like I have a run of the whole place!
And it's very interesting seeing it fully lit. Just how expansive is this area? It seems like I've looped back around to a place where I was before. Yeah, I've looped all the way back around to this kind of falling apart area. But I worry about which one is the progression path and which one is the exploration path. I'm so... I just don't want to miss anything. Here's a destroyed turret. Ah, uh, these are the factory... These are the mannequins right here. So this must be the factory supply. Okay, well, before I progress, I should probably read this email. <laughs> Apparently we're still using Windows Vista. Or was that the background for 7? I honestly don't remember. Okay. Now that you're down here, you should grab a couple of mannequins to take with you back up to the offices. Since almost everyone has gone home already, you probably won't be caught. Most of the people still here I have already told about the prank. Anyway, yeah. Once you've grabbed a couple of dummies, just head on back and place them in the offices. Think of it as a hazing ritual for the new intern. Once you once you are, once you are, I'll shoot you another email. I'm gonna go set up some of my own. I'll talk to you later. Okay, so I gotta grab some of these, and presumably I'm supposed to head back in the direction of the offices. Okay. Okay, this is starting to make more sense to me. Mannequins acquired. I just picked up that entire stack. I am a superman. And mannequins acquired. I am a god. Now that I have the mannequins, I should set them up in the main offices. Okie dokie. So I'm actually... I'm actually the one tasked with setting them up in the first place. I'll put about 12 mannequins in Office 05. Okay, place... Oh, this is cool! These are some really cool custom mechanics. Okay, uh, where, where are some cool places to put these? Uh, definitely in view of the cameras. Definitely want them in view of the cameras. That actually scared me. I don't know what it was. Something about getting the mannequin out of my view and seeing that poster all the way down there was a little bit disconcerting to me. Uh, okay, well, obviously want somebody in the break room, but watching you as you enter all the way down the hall here. Now, of course, we'll also want uh, to set up the presentation room. I've lost count of how many I've placed. Of course, I'm really concerned for the time when I go back to check the cameras. Did I place that one there? I, I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did, but I'm not 100%. Uh, let's place one in Haley's office, just for the continuity error. I don't think I put you there. Or did I? I might have. I'm making myself paranoid because I think this is the direction of the place where I got them. I, I think most of my scariness is coming from having been turned around. But then again, with the caliber of scares and subtlety that we've been seeing so far, can I really count on that to be the case? Let's put... Hmm, where, where do I put you? I don't know how many I have left. Uh, let's put one at a computer. Hmm... I don't know how many I have left. Uh, one... At the top of the stairs. Yes, yeah, so that it's like they're blocking the doors and stopping you from leaving. Okay, that should be enough mannequins. I should head back to my desk to check the email. 
I am not a smart man. I've gone and made it so that I have to check my email and every time I turn around, you'll be right behind me. Nope, I can't move you. Luckily, I can walk through you. That's actually a pretty good, uh, that's a pretty good piece of uh, design foresight because it means you can't place them in areas that'll get you stuck or make you unable to progress. Awesome work. The places you put them are perfect. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and assume that you know that because you're watching through the cameras. Oh, and before you ask, no, we can't get caught for doing this. I disabled all the security cameras beforehand, so nobody will know who did this. Okay, so you... You torpedoed my rational explanation right out of the gate. How do you know where I put them? Alright, your job is done here. We're pretty much finished, and you can go home. I'll be locking this place up and turning down the lights pretty soon. There's no night shift this week, so I'll have to close up the facility. Wait, there's no night shift this week? Wasn't Haley the night shift? I could have sworn- Haley was the night shift, so something is definitely wrong here. Sounds like my day is done. I'll go sit down in the break room and grab a coffee, then leave for the night. I think the break room was back in the direction of the original office. You guys stand watch now. Oh. Oh. Uh, you know, I actually don't think there's been any overt scares in this part so far. But I just scared myself. As I rounded the corner, as I came through here, I saw the handle contrast with the wall in the background. And I thought it was like a mannequin hand reaching around the door. It's actually incredible how, left to my own devices, I've been scaring myself so much. Like, I've actually been pretty on edge with this part, even though I'm only in the intro, even though nothing has happened yet. And, you know, I've actually experienced that in real life. I find that whenever I'm trying to scare someone in real life, I find I get creeped out by myself. So, I mean, I find I get creeped out myself. So, a couple of years back, I was exploring an abandoned building, and I was inside, and I heard another group of explorers approaching. So, you know, I kind of quieted down and sat down and tried to think of something, you know, funny or scary to do when they got inside. And as I was waiting for them to come, there was kind of this growing sense of anxiety. Like... I guess it's that horror movie logic that I was applying where I kind of felt like in waiting for... In trying to be the scary thing, I was setting myself up to be scared myself. Like something was going to come up behind me while I was planning my scare. Something about being the one to plan the scare is unnerving in itself. And I've never seen that captured in media before, but this part has done it. Look, that mannequin placed in the shadow, I put that there! I put that there, but now it's the object of my own unnervedness. I'm inventing my own words now. Okay, so it told me to come chill out in the break room. What now? Am I supposed to sit down? I'm actually a little bit confused as to what I'm supposed to be doing now. Press E? Seriously, what do I do? Alright, I'm just gonna assume that I'm not actually supposed to grab the coffee and head on out. No, I can't go this way. <laughs> okay, so this is a weird thing to be stuck on. How do I pick up coffee? Guys, I just do not have any idea what it wants me to do. I have been walking around for literally like half an hour. I can't see any mention of this on the workshop page. It really sucks. I am going to have to give up if I can't figure this out soon. Because this is getting absolutely ridiculous. I've just been spamming E all over the place on every coffee mug, on every object in this room. I don't understand what's happening here. Okay, the only thing I can think to try 
is that I saw on one of the, I don't remember if it was this workshop page or the other one, but it said to try disabling the other mods, which will mean that I'll have to restart this, which is really, really annoying. I, I, I can't believe I can't find anybody else talking about this because I have no idea what it wants me to do in this room. Bam. 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 That should be enough mannequins. I should head back to my desk to just check my email. You guys keep standing guard. There's been some delays, but I'm on my way out. Don't worry. Finally. Mo move to the chair to rest. Are you kidding me? I am beyond pissed now. So it wasn't even a matter of pressing E. I had to basically walk through it in order to trigger the animation to sit down. Oh my god, I can't believe I just wasted so much time on this. That, I am more than a little bit annoyed. How did I end up over here? Is this a dream? Maybe I should check the email in my office. You guys are no longer standing guard like I asked. Looks like I can't get in. Oh well. This will give me an excuse to go grab a mocha while I figure out what's going on. You're kind of taking this in stride far more than I would. At least they're reducing the place to a more linear path like I prefer. Hi. Yeah, I, I'm just not in the mood to be affected by scares anymore. I feel like these mannequins are strategically blocking me from the break rooms. I love how you treat this as if they're more of an annoyance than a supernatural horror come to destroy you. Beep, 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 beep. That's no good. Wait, is this going to be an actual chase? I, I should probably get moving just in case. Nope, can't go that way. Do I actually have to be worried about a patrolling enemy now? The custom scripting work on this map is actually extremely impressive. Which has me totally unsure about what to expect in terms of what can and can't happen. Where'd you go, moving boy? Nowhere to be found. Okay, so what do I do then? Maybe that moving mannequin is meant to... Yeah, it's meant to indicate... Yeah, that must be the one... It was walking past here. That was the one that was in front of this door. That means that it walked basically right behind me. See, that's something that I love in... In horror design. I, I love the implication that you've just missed something terrifying. I don't think I'd be able to have coffee right now, actually. I don't know what's going on, and I don't like it. Yeah, even when you're starting to get freaked out, you still come off as taking this far too much in stride. Alright, so where am I going then? Wasn't there before. Was not there before. And I don't like the fact of how silently this came onto the scene. And I can investigate. There's like a weird whistling in the soundtrack now. And even though my coworker did say that he had switched off the cameras, here they are.
still following my movements. I love that. I love the idea of setting up this trail, coming, seemingly culminating in this door to where we could figure out what this is all leading to. And then we're left hanging. We can't open it. Can I check my email? Nope, nothing new in that department. All I can do is open the door. You know, I must say, I actually really like what this level is doing. So, in the previous ones, there was sort of a linear progression. Here, I criticized it in the beginning for being too open-ended. But it makes sense in the context of where this is gone. So, basically, it's doing something that I love, and that's getting you familiar with the space. And it even hammers that home farther by having you have to walk around and place all the mannequins. And in that way, it gets you familiar with the space that you're in so that you can note the contrast when everything all goes wrong. Hey, boys. Oh, there you are. I found the staff. Although I don't like that one in the back. All in shadow and with white eyes. Is that even a mannequin? Remember, in the first part, we saw that shadowy figure floating down the halls and shining the flashlight in my face. Is that you? I don't like the way these cameras follow my movements. And that little movement right there, totally independent of anything I was doing. You just never know who's on the other side of these things. Let me guess, I'm going to open this and you're all going to be gone. But not you. Hi. You weren't... I don't think you were there before. Okay, if this... If that played out the way that I think it did, and the way that I experienced it, that was a... Truly fantastic scare. Because, basically, I came through, saw that figure walk across the doorway, it led me to look to the right to see if it would come along here, and that one was right there. That's excellent. So much of making scares land in, in game design is anticipating what a player will do and what their experience will be. Howdy, boys. Now, obviously, in an, in an interactive medium, that can be really difficult to do, but... So far, hi. This map is, has displayed just an excellent understanding of how to pull that off. And you know, the way these mannequins are being placed while out of sight, not only is it scary in the implications that they're moving while you're not looking, but also it dawns on you, you're being corralled. And this one, actually, as they block the bloodstains, it almost makes it seem as though they're both corralling you in one direction and trying to stop you from seeing something else. We're being led back to the factory where we got them from. I don't like this. There's those bloody footprints again leading up into the vent. Now I'm really curious to know where it's going with these bloody footprints. Because... Look, these are human footprints. These are not mannequin footprints. And these are the one thing, well besides that shadow figure, that leads me to believe that there's something more going on here than just mannequins with android cores. Of course, thus far, nothing's ever been confirmed. That was just one person's theory, and it seemed to make more sense as things progressed. But now it's giving me reason to doubt that, and that's something that I so love in horror media. Because, look, whenever there's something potentially paranormal going on, of course you're going to be coming up with explanations and ideas for where the story is going to go with this. I love works that set up multiple possibilities 
and sort of throughout their runtime, lend credence to all of them as you go. To the point where you can't really be sure of any of them. But all of those interpretations are valid. I don't imagine I'll be able to get back through that door again. It clearly they clearly want me to see something, but what? Okay, we've entered the SCP test chamber now. What happens if I stand on this button? Nothing. I need something heavier. Uh, didn't I see a cube a little further back? I could have sworn I saw one, but it might have been back through here. There's got to be something around somewhere. Ah, I have the portal gun now. I could have very easily missed that. And that's hi. Oh, you're chasing me. Oh, we have an actual chase sequence. Haven't seen this yet. Uh, you know, that's actually really interesting. A chase scene with portals. Not the way I'm supposed to go. I'm dead. Do I have to restart the entire thing? If so, that's really stupid. Uh, okay, good. I would have been very, very, very angry if there wasn't a checkpoint to the point where I might have just stopped recording altogether. I've been recording for over two hours now. Okay, you're gonna open up. I can't portal the floor, so I can't pull some shenanigans on you. But what am I doing? Perhaps I can get you to stand on the button. I bet that's what I have to do. The question is, how am I gonna do that? You're quite fast! I turned around and you were right there. This is actually going to be kind of hard. Alright, so I probably need you to stand on the button. The safest way to do that is going to be to portal there, portal there. I'm dead. Nope. No? Wait, it stopped me, but... Okay, wait. How, do I, how am I going to do this? I can't get you to stand on the button. It actually blocks you. All right, well, what am I doing then? Can't portal that wall, so I can't make it safe in the other direction. Okay, the scripting here is not amazing. I must say, I'm very confused as to what I'm supposed to be doing then. Now what? Okay, now if I can juke you through here, then maybe I can close that door behind me? Just maybe? Yep. Wait, is that a portalable surface? It is! Okay. Can't close that, but I can... Okay, so... Wait, I, I just gotta parse what I'm doing right now. I'm dead? Nope, I can still move while you're attacking me. I don't know if that's supposed to be the case. This isn't exactly a terrifying segment, I must say really more irritating than anything. It was a little weird the first time I saw one walking towards me, and that's because it's been so long that I kind of started to believe that something like that wouldn't be able to happen. So props on that front, not so much for the actual execution. No, move. Seems like when it grabs me, I have a brief moment to spin around and exit, but I can't get you to stand on the button. Which seems pretty clearly to be what it's leading me towards, but uh, this, this one has just given me a lot of problems. Maybe something to do with in here? No? Move. Let me move. Why can I only sometimes move? Open up. Maybe there's actually something back here that I can portal onto? Yes. Okay, that was it. Finally. Thank you. I feel like this map is relying way too much on stuff that's way too easy to miss. And it just makes the whole thing drag out way more than it's supposed to and kills the pacing. Let me move! Come on! Alright, I can probably complete this puzzle before you even get out. Yep, there we go. Actually, am I... So the back of this is untextured. Am I even supposed to be back here? Actually... The question now is, can you follow me through... Hi. Alright, one of these... No. 
And I think it's actually an oversight that I'm able to... Just kill me through the wall, yep. I think it's actually an oversight that I'm even able to get in here. Closed door, can't... Oh, I can... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to be able to do this. I can just press E and pick you up? Really? Uh, can I move you through it? Well, I can place you like that. Can I? No. Okay, so that's not what I'm supposed to do. I'm not supposed to get you to stand on the button. Can I put you back on the rack? No. Alright, well, what am I doing then? Can I trap you inside the wall? Oh, I bet I can't. Yep. <laughs> well, I just defeated that puzzle. Wait, which one did I put you in? There you are. <laughs> I broke the game. Now, what am I supposed to be doing to get out of here? Maybe I can portal through here somehow. Yep, there we go. There we go. Okay, I think I was supposed to be able to escape that way, which... See, to me, in my opinion, that's way, way too easy to miss in the heat of a chase. Especially when it's going to be right behind you, so you're going to have no time to look for that. Luckily, I was able to break the game and put this guy in mannequin jail. Uh, enjoy your life sentence. And of course, now the stage has been set. We know that we can be chased and it can happen again. So we're going to want to be very, very careful. One to there, one to here, and we can drop down onto this catwalk. Uh, I am so proud of myself for that one. Level 1 exit keycard. I could use this to get back into the main office to exit the building and go home. Alrighty. I always have that dilemma when it comes to backtracking. It always feels like I'm not supposed to. And of course, this will be a prime space. Maybe I could have brought one of these with me, though. This will be a prime space for another chase. These narrow corridors, which will make it difficult to juke past enemies. You're different from the other ones. You're darker than the other ones. I mean, not to be mannequin racist. And I don't like the grin you seem to be wearing. Okay, where can I place another portal? Actually, I could probably use this to get into a lot of areas. Let's go back and try that out. Now, over here, these are not portalable surfaces. But if I crawl back through the vent, I can find some. I definitely did have to walk all the way back because you were not there before. And I will say, this is some nice level design playing with player uh, player expectations because I have to walk past you. It, it's good playing with player expectation because I have to walk past you immediately after we've established that you can start chasing me. That is a capability of this map. Alright, so what are we doing here? We do have portal ability now. So we've got to start looking at this area from that perspective. Where am I going? Said I had a level 1 access keycard now. It's just going to be a matter of figuring out where I have to use it. I've gotten as far back as my own desk. But beyond that, I'm not quite sure what to do. This is as far as I can get. Oh, right here! Yeah, just put it behind this thing so you don't see it when you're approaching. Oh my god, this level relies so much on you on you seeing these incredibly small details. Well, at least we're in a new area. Hopefully we're on our way out now.
I'm going down these back hallways because I'm certain that it's not going to let me out the front door on the first try. Yep, we have a sparking and broken keycard reader. Maybe if I find a way to turn off the power, I could still leave. I, I would question the logic of that. If it's a door that requires a keycard reader to open, I don't see how you're getting out of here without power. Geothermal Power Plant 3. I read that as if it's important, even though it's clearly one of the doors that can't be opened. You know, now there is that anxiety here that any one of these guys could start walking at any time. Control room. Ah, yes. The only thing that can get past velvet ropes. Portals. Okay. Kind of feels like portals for portals sake at this point, but... I'm actually not all that averse to portals for portals sake. I love portal. This dude... This dude's living the life. In the basement of a normally active research facility, he just finds the darkest, most cramped corner he can. And he sees it as a comfy place. He comes down here to chill out. He's kind of missed the chair a little bit. He's a little confused, but he's got the spirit. Okay, what about this place? As soon as I do, the lights are all going to go out. And I'm going to be plunged into darkness with dozens of still figures. Okay, luckily it's not nearly as dark as I thought it might be. Can I trust you to remain chill? Oh, who am I kidding? I can always trust you to remain chill. No! Oh! 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 Okay, first real, like, jump jump scare of the trilogy. Oh, it's not just dark, the lights are flashing. That's a really spooky element to add to this map. Especially given that these... These mannequins have made themselves known to move when I'm not looking at them. You are two of the shadowy ones, and you're after me. And you're after me. Okay, clearly I have to get a portal through there, but... Oh, come on, let me move! Come on! There's no way past them! Please be a good checkpoint. Uh, I guess I couldn't get past them? So it was all just a dream. Weird. Now I should actually leave the office this time and get some rest. Okie doke. I really was not expecting it to turn out to be a dream after all this time. Now I'm more curious than ever. I see the portals are still placed. Now I'm more curious than ever to know where this has all been leading. I strongly suspect there's still another jump scare in store for me. I mean, the other guy was leaving and shutting the lights off even as I fell asleep before, so... Basically, no matter how, lo how long I fell asleep for, surely all the lights should be out by now. I am very much, uh, I'm putting, I'm casting my vote for there's still one more scare left in store for me. No. And the game crashed. All right, so the workshop page is aware of this crash and says that in the event that this happens, I should just no clip through the final door. And slip through there.
Now the question is, is the fact that I don't have the portal gun available to me going to be a problem? Oh, we've actually come all the way home. Well, this is unexpected. I should go in bed and take a rest. This is a very odd home layout and some very, very tall ceilings. What kind of house is this? It's like this map creator only knows how to create labs. Uh, you know, for a researcher, you really are living in poverty. And that is a fat toilet. A revolver on the nightstand. I'll keep this by my bed just in case. I feel bad just coming home and just totally roasting this guy for his house. That's less than normal. Do I actually have the gun? I feel like this is gonna culminate in me shooting myself, isn't it? No. It's like I never left. Okay, is this a bug or is this actually supposed to be this way? Hard to tell. It's like I can't really leave. But this is not just the Aperture Laboratories because clearly there's something else going on here. Either I have very vivid nightmares, or or the nightmare never ended. This building is making some very disturbing groaning noises. That is... That's something that's a horror trope for a reason, where just when you think you're out, you realize you're more trapped than you've ever been. Anticipation growing. This doesn't make any sense. This has to be a dream, right? So we meet again. I told you I don't have the $50 I owe you. I'll have it by next week, swear. Let me out. Let me out! Okay, I have a gun. It's established that I do have a gun. Okay, just take me. No? Oh. Aww. They all cared about me enough to throw an intervention. Oh wait, no. <laughs> uh, it's an intervention in my life being a thing. Well. YOLO. Oh no, copyrighted music. Ted Ross was found dead in his bed from a gunshot wound to the head. Police are unsure of how this happened, as there was no sign of a struggle. 
no obvious break-in, no suicide note, and no sign of use of the nearby revolver. Wait, no, I didn't... Ugh. An intern, Haley Peterson, was found in an under-construction hallway with her neck snapped with a portal gun found near her body. She is the most obvious direct victim of the prank, according to computer searches conducted from the police. Evidence at the crime scene suggests that her death is related to the employee, Ted Ross. Ah, oh, it's too fast. Jerry Ryans was found dead with his neck snapped in an office overlooking Factory 88B. Nearby, his laptop was found by the police, dusted for fingerprints. Fingerprints of Ted Ross was discovered on his laptop, as well as a nearby computer that was left on. A faceless and mangled corpse was found nearby inside a supply closet, along with a test dummy with a face of Tony Gray attached. A multiple of other employees, including Miles Shaw, Maxwell Martins, and Alyssa William, were reported missing, but there is no trace of them in the facility. Near their desks, overstuffed mannequins were found with fingerprints of Ted Ross present. They're currently in police custody. Uh, blah, blah, shipments... No, oh, come on! Come on! This is way too fast! Further investigation of the facility is scheduled at a later date, but until then, the areas will remain dormant and inactive. The office prank is over. As for the employees, they will not be returning. Alright. So that was the office prank. The first two parts, really, really, really good, right? Part three gave me a lot more problems. There were a lot of things that I weren't sure if they were due to bugs. There were a lot of things that relied on me having to notice things that were really down to chance of me noticing and the chase mechanics really did not work very well at all thankfully they only they were only a thing once i'm gonna rate it well because it's you know again it was really good i just don't like how these i, I kind of don't like how it wrapped up i i don't like the idea of having everything explained after the fact through title cards I kind of wish it had been. I kind of wish it had been delivered more closure through the gameplay and story itself. But beyond that, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go into my praises and criticisms. You heard them while I was recording, and I've recorded long enough at this point. Uh, just over two and a half hours, and I am very tired. If you want to try these maps out for yourself, I'll be providing the workshop links in the description. If you have any ideas for other videos that you want me to do. Uh, the best place to do that is in the official Discord, also linked in the description. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. And as always, I will see you in the next one.